In 1903, Pierre Curie found out that the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences was about to award him and Henry Becquerel a Nobel Prize for their work with radiation. But they wouldn't be nominating his wife, Marie Sklodowska Curie. And Pierre had actually abandoned his own research to work exclusively with Marie on her research back in 1898. And they discovered two elements together. Firstly, polonium, which they named after Marie's beloved Poland. Then they discovered radium. And in the course of their research, they coined the term radioactivity also too as well. So Pierre was super pissed about the nomination and told the Nobel Committee that most of the work was done by Marie and that he wouldn't accept a nomination if her name wasn't on it too. They were acting like she was a glorified assistant. And one of the committee members was an advisor to her during her PhD, so he absolutely knew how brilliant she was and it was just blatant misogyny that she didn't get nominated in the first place. But eventually the committee capitulated and added her name to the nomination. And that made her the first woman to ever win a Nobel Prize. Then three years later, on a rainy day, Pierre was crossing the street in Paris and got hit and ran over by a horse-drawn carriage. The rear wheels crushed his skull and he died instantly. And Marie was absolutely devastated. She was prone to having bouts of depression from time to time, but the unexpected loss of the love of her life was especially hard to deal with. But she remembered something that Pierre had said. Whatever happens, even if one should become like a body without a soul, still one must work. So when the University of Paris offered her her husband's position the next month, she accepted it, and that made her the first woman to be a professor at the University of Paris. And tons of people crowded the lecture hall to see her give her first lecture. And in a soft voice, she started her lecture exactly where Pierre had left off. And she kept on lecturing and continued working on her research. And then in 1911, she got her second Nobel Prize. This time it was in chemistry, and that made her the first person to ever win a second Nobel Prize. And she's still the only person to have ever won in two different sciences. She's actually just my favorite person in history, so tomorrow I'll probably do another story about her.